Hello and welcome to Playing With Songs, the podcast in which I take each song, break it down into tiny little chunks, play with it, tinker around and piece it all back together again, taking it from mediocre to something more. I'm Rob Langley-Jones and in this episode of Playing With Songs, I'm playing with a song called Today Is The Day, which I wrote for my friend's birthday back in 2015. It goes a little bit like this. In the safari lounge Away from all the smoke All that's left is hope We're all in the safari lounge today And we're okay Lovely, but before I can continue to play with Today is the Day I will first perform a warm-up for my voice and for my guitar, and for your amusement, this will be in the form of a song. Jumpy, jumpy, using support, <laughs> bubbling, ha ha, mixing my voice. Jumpy, jumpy, easy strumming. So that my fretting hand is in a nice neutral position. Lovely. It's been five years since I wrote Today is the Day or performed it for anyone. I wonder what it sounds like now. birthday and I hope you're feeling great in the safari lounge away from all the smoke all that's left is home we're all in the safari lounge today and we're all Well, it's okay, but I think it's come that time where I break this down into more detail. I'm going to take the first eight bars, which is the intro, and play with it and tinker around and experiment, try different things, see what works, and then you're going to get to experience the results. You lucky, lucky people. Here we are, that's the intro. So first of all I tried playing around with the bass line, that got a bit complicated. So then I simplified it, focused on the feel and rhythm, and I realised at the end of each repetition of four bars, when I go onto the D chord, the rhythm would go out the window. And I think it's because I was just thinking about the left hand too much. So I focused then purely on the right hand, which was going junk a junk a junk a junk a junk And once I brought all my attention to the right hand, the right rhythm, that seemed to fix it. Phew! So now we're on to verse number one. That's verse one. I did think the song was beginning to sound a bit boring, so I thought, what the hell? I put a punky drum beat on, added some bass line, added some guitar, and I tried to make it sound really choppy and, and, and make the rhythms kind of offbeat and just a bit fun and loud. And next up for the chorus, I really want to add in some harmonies, a bit like no effects, because I really like no effects and the way they add in these fifth harmonies. So I'm going to put that in as well, and I just want to have this racy kind of fun, punky feeling. It's now at 200 beats per minute, up from 100. So let's see where we go from here. In the safari lounge, away from all the smoke, all that's left is hope. In the safari lounge, there's some cake, there's some cake, there's enough to go around. We're all in the safari lounge today, and we're okay. Well, 
there we go, that's the chorus. I'm relatively pleased with that. Come up with a new bass line, new guitar part, um, two part R harmony, which is the thing I really wanted to do because I hear no effects do that a lot and I think it sounds really cool. And then I come up with this other extra line, celebrate, celebrate, the safari lounge, there's some cake, there's some cake, there's enough to go around. Because we were celebrating a birthday, it was a birthday celebration, there was a birthday cake and there was plenty of it and it was really tasty actually. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with those harmonies. They sound a bit okay, a bit odd, I don't know, but it's pretty upbeat, it's pretty happy. So we're now on to uh, verse number two. There we go, so you were going to get the next verse, but I really wanted to add a little instrumental, something with a bit of a reggae feel, a kind of a scar, kind of bop, bop, bop. Um, so I added that. I really wanted some reggae drums, but I couldn't quite find anything that would do it how I wanted it to on GarageBand, so I ended up keying in the drums on the keyboard, just about, a very simple drum beat, and yeah, it was very difficult to play with that kind of groove, and you'll hear the bass line rhythm is completely out of whack, but you kind of get roughly the gist of it. And so now we've got this kind of boppy feeling, and we can now go back into the main part of the song, back into verse number two. Well, that reggae break didn't quite lead back into verse 2. It just didn't work. So I copied the intro. That seemed to link back into the verse. And then I thought, maybe I should put some more backing vocals on. So I did. They're quite nice, I guess. I don't know, really. Now we're on to the last chorus. Let's see how that goes. In the safari land, you wait for all the smoke, all that's left in this hole. In the safari land, there's some cake, there's some cake, there's enough to go around. We're all in the safari land today. I can't actually blooming well believe it. I actually did it. I'm really chuffed with this next chorus because I put in the big harmony. So I've got four part harmony at the end building on the D seventh chord to build us back into the ending of the song. And the other thing I was quite chuffed about is the celebrate, celebrate in the safari lounge. There was a different version of those that I created before and I was able just to shut that back on. So the second one of those also fits the build into the D chord. So it works out really, really well. And I'm going up to a C5 with my singing on this and I, I got it just luckily because the more I tried it the worse it got so it was a lucky take and yeah bloody brilliant now I've got to figure out um, how I'm going to end it because I want it to end a bit more um, simply with a, a bit less stuff going on I'm not actually quite sure how to end it so I'm going to try a few things out and see where it takes me and then you'll get to witness the end of the song Today is the day, your 26th birthday, and I hope you're feeling great, feeling great, feeling great today. Great, so great, oh so Well, there we are. That is the ending. Uh, I decided to do it on the acoustic guitar, which was how I originally wrote and performed the song. The only thing that was a bit tricky was um, I used the Sennheiser mic for my vocals and my little Sony portable mic for the guitar, but I just really don't like the way my Sennheiser mic sounds compared to the Sony one. So I EQ'd it and EQ'd it. I couldn't get it to sound nice. In the end, I deliberately made it sound bad so that it could end with this kind of tinny sound and then a bit of bass hit in for the ending. Um, also, I 
wrote that ending there that didn't exist before. I just thought it'd be nice to give it a, a bigger ending of some sort. And that brings the duration up to about two minutes. So for a punky song, that's about right. It's almost a long song, to be honest. Um, so now I'm going to make a decision uh, to do the vocals in one take and vocals and guitar or vocals and bass. I don't know, maybe just vocals on the own so that you can get to see as well as hear a complete performance of the song now that we've finally got to the end so there we go what will we see what will we hear who knows Ooh. there we have it that is the final song in its entirety um i tried re-recording it and then it just started to sound a little bit too polished the vocals were a little bit too much in tune and then i tried layering them a bit more and i put myself singing an octave lower and that was well that was awful put myself singing an octave higher that sounded quite cool actually and did fill out the sound just a little bit so i've left that in you've got two recordings of me singing the vocal an octave higher on the left and the right but just quite low in the mix and that that sort of added something to it and then i also added uh, another low note on the bit where the harmony builds so that gives it a little bit more oomph but yeah too much re-recording too much faffing just made it sound a bit too polished and took away from the kind of punky feel where not every note is in tune and it's not all perfect but it's got a jumpy 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 feel so those are the only real changes a bit of extra high octave above and a little extra with the harmony but other than that it was the same but you got to see it all full in one go with lots of nice little split screens so that was nice wasn't it so until next time i've been rob langley jones and this was playing with songs peace out <laughs> Next time.